Hello everybody, welcome to this next video on linear algebra. In the last video, we have defined what do we mean by a spanning set of a vector space. So let us just see quickly what that was. You have a vector space V. Inside that vector space W, inside the, uh, that vector space, suppose you have a set W, U1, U2, Un, right? We say that W spans V if every element of V, say V, can be written as linear combination of elements of W. So it means that you can just concentrate on the smaller set, right? So you don't need to concentrate on the larger set, you can just concentrate on the smaller set and every other element here will be linear combination of elements here. Right. Now we have some results right, which will be helpful. So first result is suppose you have a spanning set u1, u2, um spans v if you take w in v then any w this can be any other element in v which is already not in the set then if you bring this w into the set also so you have already the m elements u1 u2 um and you bring w also in the set this will also span v right so so this is logically also this is correct so you have a space v inside that you have a set u1 u2 um right and somewhere is an element w here Right. Now your set is already strong. You, you think of this uh, in this way. That this set is already strong. Already, already strong in the sense that this has the capacity to spread and make whole of V. Right. And you are adding something. You are not subtracting something. Then that addition should not, you know, reduce its capacity to spread. Okay. So you can think of uh, this in this way. So let us prove this result. Proof is quite simple, right? So since W belongs to V and U1, U2, Um is spanning set, it means that you can write W as linear combination of U1, U2, Um right okay fine so i can write it as alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 plus alpha m u m i can bring w on this side so i have plus minus 1 into w equal to 0 so i have this thing <coughs> now let v belongs to v be any element because V is in V, so again you can write V as a linear combination of the elements of U, uh, this uh, this set that is U1, U2, Um, and now the constant will change. Right. Okay. Now there is no problem if I add zero on the right hand side. Right. Now, in place of 0, I can put this value from star. So, I have beta 1 u1 plus beta 2 u2, beta m u m plus alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2, alpha m u m plus minus 1 into w equal. Okay. So, you have, this is from star. So, you see, you can write V as, you can combine these terms beta 1 plus alpha 1 into u1 plus beta 2 plus alpha 2 into u2 and so on beta m into alpha m into u m plus minus 1 into w it means that for every v in v for every v in v you have these constants gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma m gamma m plus 1 for every v in v, we have constants or scalars gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma m plus 1 such that v is equal to L, gamma 1 
u1 plus gamma 2 u2 plus gamma m um plus gamma m plus 1 w means that u1 u2 um comma w is a spanning set also okay so the idea is if you have v and you have a spanning set then you can keep on increasing this spanning set it will always remain spanning set but obviously we are most of the times interested in the smallest set smallest of such set because that was the idea that you want to you know study whole of v but instead of studying this whole v you want to look at the smaller set so the idea was that you are looking for a smaller set but this result says if even like you have some uh, somehow you have like you know kept two more elements that is also okay that you can instead of this set if this is a spanning set once you have a spanning set adding one two three finite number of elements in that spanning set will never change the capacity of that spanning set this is the idea of this result thank you